is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take it to the bottom of the hour because we've been on for 50 minutes, right? Is this uh, a 50 minute? Thing? I have exactly 46. What yeah, I was going to say right. is, if you stop here, you have you have maintained your standard of 45 minutes at least one segment during the course of the show. So you have met that criteria, and then we could just play three hours and do it again, and run 45 minutes out to the two o'clock. We could. What do you we think could. about that? That way, you could take a break right now. No, let me get one more story well, in then because I do want to. You could t- do whatever you want. It's your show, my brother. I do want to. Let let's take it to the bottom of the hour because I, I, I do have another story that I, I want to talk about because, again, this is how this stinking pandemic changes our lives, changes everything that we want to do. NFL PA now, it's interesting, right? Because they now are proposing 80 players in training camp. It's normally 90. Okay, remember, they're expanding the rosters. They're expanding the practice squads, okay? They went from 10 to 12. Now, because of the pandemic, they went to 15, okay? Oh, was it 16? Or 16, 16. whatever. Yes. They, 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 yes. they have added a lot already as it is. So that's more people in the building on a daily basis because those 16 players are in your building. Now, there's some talk that they may try to keep a group separate from them so it's kind of like their backup squad in a way. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that because you have to have practice players. And you can't burn out your backups and your starters doing that. That's what those third stringers, taxi taxi squad, practice squad guys are, you know? And that's what they're there to do. So that means there's going to be contact because they're there to practice against you and prep you during game week. Now they're 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 asking the NFL preparing the 32 teams up to 90 players in each training camp. NFL PA Association now wants to bring it down to 80. Okay, that's a maximum of 2560 players across the league, 320 fewer spots than the league would have any other year. It makes a lot of sense to do this. It really does. There's a problem with it. Injuries. And Coaches need to have extra players. And you say, well, oh, it's 80. Well, think about this. If you're now going to have 55 players on your – no, actually 50 – It is 55. It was 53. We went to 55. No, no, well, but they went – it's not 12. It's 16. So it's 59. No, 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 no. The the regular roster was 53. We went to 55. And then they went from 10, 12 to 16 practice. Oh, so, so we're at 71, 71. 71. Okay, so it's 71 now. So you're going to have 71 anyways every day of the week. So eight, nine more players is not really. You'll lose them in the first week of practice. All right, so you need you need to have a lot of depth throughout all of this. So they're going to say that the 90 players are, it doesn't sound, it sounds like a lot, but when you start to think about, you know, as time goes on and people wear out, now here's the, now here's the, now here's the thing. Your training camp is not going to be as long. You're not going to be exposed as long. You're not going to have the same amount of time to prepare So you won't lose the amount of players that you normally lost in years past because it's a shortened amount of time. So maybe you can get away with that, but it is going to put you at a certain limitation. And here's the other thing. If you don't allow those 10 players in camp now, they're going to be out on the street. And then you don't know what they're exposed to out on the street. And I know what you're saying. Hey, oh, they go out on the street after they're done. But at least if they have a job and they're in the building, you can talk, you can communicate, and there's motivation. If you're a free agent out on the street, you're not really as protective of yourself as you normally are. So those players may not be as ready for you as they could be because they could be sick. Because you know you're going to bring them in, work them out, and then test them. And, and and you may like the player, but he tests positive. Now you can't have him for next week. Now you can't have him for a couple of weeks. 
this becomes a real mission. I mean, this creates all kinds of other problems at other levels for the personnel department and the coaching. The players don't think about that as much. But anybody that's got to prepare for a team and has to have foresight and think ahead of what's going on, these are the issues that are arising from it. And it puts you in a in a really difficult position. That's why when you think about it, what was that number again? 2,000, whatever, 500 and something, 320 less. So let's say it's 2,000, uh, what is it, 2,560. So it's really 2,880 players that you have walking in and out of buildings. That's a lot of exposure, man. That's real. It's Plus really Plus you're playing hard. football. You're up in each other's face. Yes. Yeah. Really close. You know, you're, it's. You can't social distance and play football. Yeah. Not even flag. Not yeah. even flag football can you social distance. Yep. Okay. Uh anyway, so it just it's crazy, man. Uh, I'm telling you, it just uh to to see what's going on, this is affecting everything and anything that we do. How's it affected oh, oh imagine. You've got your linebackers. It, it, not even the quarterback, just linebackers, your your offensive linemen. If somebody gets it and three or four of those guys get it, right? So there goes it. there goes your whole that whole section of your team. It's going to happen. Wiped out. It's going to happen. Guaranteed. It's going to happen. People are going to lose half their lines or their entire O lines or D lines. It's going to happen because they all hang out together. They're all in the same room. They're all breathing on each other. Uh, they're all colliding. They're all in in weight rooms. They're all touching the weights. They're uh, and then you can wipe it down and all that. People aren't going to be perfect, bro. I'm just saying. It's just. It's too much. It, it, it just is way too much. And for those of you out there that when you watch Lamar Jackson and you wonder what it's like to be like Lamar Jackson and you say, well, you know, I don't have that ability. You realize that some of you are already showing that ability right now. You know, Barry Sanders, if you're a little older, because let me explain something to you. I know where you're going. If you're going to Publix, if you're going to Walmart, if you're walking around and you got people, you got to have vision. You got to have separation. So you got to look at all the people out on the street and you got to anticipate second level, third level, right? And you got to know, you got to anticipate your cuts so you can keep your distance. You are now learning with COVID the things that Barry Sanders and Lamar Jackson do naturally. See, we are adjusting. I, I, the other day when I went to Publix on Saturday, there were a couple people and I had to kind of like dodge, you know, and I, I saw one on one, one side of the aisle, another one on another side of the aisle, and I had to make sure I had to kind of, you know, cut. And then on my way out, had a couple people crossing, had to slow down, wait for a cross, go over, wait for the next you get a blocker, in, you pick up a blocker. Side. You know, you got you to gotta kind of spin and move and uh, shift. And, you know, that's, uh, this COVID thing, it, it's kind of like you're playing human operation. You know, you got to just kind of like stay away from everything, don't touch it, whatever, and, you know, it, it, it might set it off. You know, that's kind of what it is. It's, it's human operation is what we're playing every single day. You know? So you got to have the Barry Sanders moves, and yet you got to be steady with your hands like an operation, and not touch anything. You know, it's just, no, the way you talk about level one, two. I remember Marshall Falk talking about that exact thing. When you go through the offensive line, you've already got the linebackers set up. You're looking at the secondary and setting up the third level. It's exactly, it sounded like Marshall Falk, bro. That's what it was. That's what it was. All right, there you go. The shifting and all of that takes me to 130. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back for the uh, final stretch right here on the program on the Big O Show.